Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor in here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Guys, I'm really excited because I'm finally, 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 finally back home in New York. I've been away for about six weeks. I went from Ohio back to New York for literally one weekend just so I could fix this excavation problem I had in the front of my house, like a $14,000 pipe. Woo! Okay, flew back to Ohio for the Call of Duty World League, flew from Ohio to London, stayed in London for three days, flew from London to California for E3, stayed there for one night, flew to Texas for 12 hours to play Kyle Post Malone and the Dallas Cowboys, flew from Texas back to California for Call of Duty Anaheim, and then flew from Anaheim to Mexico to see my girlfriend, then finally, finally, back to New York. So three days ago, I uploaded a video saying we need to talk where me and my girlfriend sat down talking about a bunch of things that are going on in our lives right now. And the two things that I said were that my mom just got hip surgery. So she has this giant gap on her hip, like literally like almost a foot long. And also Mimi, my puppy, my little baby, her back legs just gave out on her and she was not able to walk the last time I saw her two weeks ago. So the whole time I was away, I was really worried about my mom and my dog, especially my dog, because like that's my little, that's my little baby, you know, like that's my little, my little kid almost. Fortunately, my mom's doing a lot better. She's finally able to walk again a little bit, but she has like another two months before before she can finally recover. And then my dog, I'm gonna show her to you guys in a little bit. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head downstairs. I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get done. I feel like a dad right now. Literally, I gotta go change this air conditioning filter. I had to pick up my dry cleaning for my uh, my blanket because it was really dirty because my dog took a crap on it. I have a bunch of packages that I opened up yesterday, a bunch of brand new shoes. I'm gonna be unboxing a pair of something. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. All I'm gonna say is that this shoe is $6,000 on the GOAT app in my size, which is just insane. So I am so excited. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I'm unboxing it towards the end of this video and then I also have some new Gymshark which I love Gymshark like as you guys know I literally don't go a day without wearing it I got a bunch of new stuff over here I'm gonna be unboxing as well but before we do all this I gotta go head out and I gotta fix my girlfriend's car so as you guys know I bought my girlfriend a Mini Cooper about a year ago and it's sitting right there outside in the street I don't use this car at all I actually use my Chrysler 300 all the time which my boy right now is hooking me up with a detail but because I haven't driven this car at all I need to get in an oil change and then there's something wrong with the tire pressure so I'm gonna have to go and figure that out because my girlfriend's gonna be coming over to New York in about a month from now so I want to make sure that the car is running really nicely for her when she gets here. A lot of things got to get done. I want to show you guys really quickly outside some of the progress I made with my house because as you guys know, I had to get this excavating job done. So as you guys can see right over here, they finally fixed this pipe and these are actually hoses for a sprinkler system, which I actually have to get replaced now, which is going to cost a lot of money, but it's all good. Uh, we got this huge gaping pipe over here. So they had to excavate all the way down to the street where the sewer is and put a brand new pipe in and take out all the old pipes. This thing found, it took me like three months to find the right guy have them do the job and actually get the job done. This was no joke, like this is so that I could use my house, so that I could use any water in the house, any flushing, any toilets, any washing machines, anything at all. I had to get this thing fixed and now that because this is all destroyed, I gotta get new landscaping. So I got a sprinkler system I gotta get repaired, I gotta get a brand new sprinkler system that's gonna come in tomorrow and then I got brand new landscaping I have to get as well for like the side of the house over there. So it's a lot of work man. Having a house and growing up, there's so many responsibilities that come along with it and I just wanna give you guys some advice. When you guys do grow older and you do get a house or an apartment or anything, just make sure you guys roll with the punches because I just feel like it never ends. Like at first I was like, all right, when I get this done, this done, this done, and that done, I'm finally gonna be able to relax in my home and I'm gonna be happy. And now I realize it's been about seven months and I still got a lot of things that I gotta get done. And a lot of these things aren't even like my choice. Like these are just problems that came up. So, oh, another problem too, my air conditioning on the side of the house, somebody banged a nail in the side of the air conditioner when they did the siding and, I, and then I had to get the, the pipe fixed so that my air conditioner could work. There's just so many responsibilities I gotta take care of and even my little puppy now, buddy, I gotta get him shots plus practicing every day, so it's been a lot of work. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start up this Mini Cooper real quick and you guys are gonna see the problem. It literally says it right here on the screen the second I turn it on. It doesn't drive right, like I could tell when I brake, but it says inflate tires, you can continue driving at a maximum speed of 80 miles per hour, tire pressure too low, check tire pressure on all tires and inflate tires at the next blah, 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 blah. So look, ready, check this out. I'm gonna put this car in drive, right? I'm gonna start cruising. Now listen to the car when I brake, watch this, ready? I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it just sounds like the tires are deflated. But when I squeeze the tires, I don't feel any deflation. So I'm gonna head over now to get an oil change. I'm not gonna drive and vlog at the same time. I'm gonna stop on the side of the street. I'm gonna head over now, get the oil change, make sure this car is running. It doesn't even have any gas. She left the car with no gas too. So I'm gonna fill this thing up. I'm gonna get this thing ready for her. I know it's another month from now, but I just like to stay on top of things and I wanna make her happy when she comes here. So I'm gonna go take care of this car right now. Then I'm gonna go head over to my mom's and I'm gonna show you guys Mimi and give you guys an update on her because I actually had her this morning at my house and she's doing better, but you guys are gonna see that she's she's not 100% but um I'm gonna give you guys an update when I finish with this car alrighty guys so now I'm at my mom's house and I want to show you guys Mimi real quick she's really excited to see me as you guys can see super super happy what's up baby oh Buster why'd you gotta do that to buddy as you guys can see buddy's getting a lot bigger too he's being really nice 
and Mimi, of course. I want to show you guys her back legs. It's really tough to like show you, but you guys can see like her right back leg, this one over here. She kind of like doesn't want to put any weight on it when she walks. It's really difficult for her to jump up. Like I don't want to make her jump, but if she does, she's gonna have to like climb really hard. And yeah, she did it pretty good right there, honestly. But I took Mimi for a walk this morning. <laughs> I took her for a walk this morning and she only walked like two houses down the block and then she got tired and I felt so bad I had to go pick her up. So she has two more shots left. So twice a week for four weeks, she has to get these injections to strengthen the cartilage in the back legs. And she has two more left. So hopefully after these are done, and after she recovers from it, she's going to be good for the next two years because that's what the doctor said. But I have no idea what's going to happen yet, so we're going to have to monitor it. But it's really sad because she's not, even, she's not even two years old yet. Look how cute she is, man. I feel so bad about it, but hopefully she gets better. Um, at first, she wasn't able to jump at all, and she was barely walking. And apparently now she's a lot better because I haven't seen her in the past couple of weeks. But she's walking. She's happy. She doesn't seem like she's in pain, which is a really good thing. But... I know Mimi, she's a crazy dog, and she loves to jump around, and she loves to play. So if she can't do that, then it's going to make me sad, even though she's just giving me a lot of kisses and love right now. But I'm going to go head over back to the house. I got a lot of things to show you guys back in the house. And it's going to be an awesome day, and I think you guys are going to really like this, uh, this thing that I'm unboxing. So let's get back to the house. All right, guys, so this is the part of the video that I'm really extremely, extremely excited about. As you guys could tell, I got a pair of shoes in my hand, courtesy of GOAT. These shoes are really really freaking expensive right now if you go on goat which is like the number one place the most reliable place to buy and sell uh exclusive sneakers or any sneakers at all like these are the guys that i've been going to even before i started even working with these guys like i really like this app i really like this company if you go on this app right now and try to buy this shoe in this size it's going for six thousand dollars so i'm really appreciative for goat for hooking me up with this pair of shoes uh, with all that being said you guys already know i love my shoes i actually haven't bought a pair of shoes in a really long time like probably in a year because i got all the shoes that i liked and i'm the type of guy like if i like a shoe i like it if i don't i'm not gonna buy it i won't feed into all the hype if i don't like a shoe i'm not gonna go out and spend money on it if i just don't want to get it so i haven't bought a new pair of shoes in a long time but um, like I said, these shoes right here are freaking amazing. I don't have a pair of these at all. I have a bunch of Yeezys and I have Ultra Boost and Vapor Max. Like those are my three go-to pairs of shoes. This is my first pair of these. I don't know if you guys could tell by the title of the thumbnail, but these are the Pharrell Williams Human Race NMDs in the original yellow colorway. So with all that being said, we're gonna open these bad boys up. We're gonna see how these things look. And um, I haven't opened this yet, but as you guys could tell, it's got the GOAT seal of approval on it. It's gonna rip that off, I'm so excited. I had these since yesterday, and I've been waiting till today to get this lav mic and this camera to film this, but here's the box right here. It says Human Race, it has like a little triangle on it. Uh, it says Pharrell Williams and Adidas on the side. I feel like one of those shoe box review channels right now. I watch them all the time, and I feel like one of them, but um, yeah, it's just like a plain white box. I'm not really that big on boxes. Let's just get into the shoes. This is what's important. These things, these things are fresh, guys. Okay, let me tell you, these things will catch your attention if you're on the street. Look at that shoe. Look at that. Man, that's fresh. It even comes with like a separate pair of laces too on the side, um, which I'm not gonna use. It has some white laces, which is kind of cool, I guess. But um, this is them right here. It says human race on it. And I've always seen these shoes and I've seen like all the different colorways of it. I thought they were really cool, but I just never got around to just buying them. And then when I saw these things and they really caught my attention, um, I just had to get them. So I'm really happy for Go for hooking me up with these. And the inside of it, there's like, uh, um, this is like the insole. There's not really an insole. It has like the different parts of like, the human body. It shows a bunch of different parts of the body inside of it, which is pretty cool. But the originals are yellow, red, blue, green, and I think brown, if I'm not mistaken. But I felt that the yellows pop more than any of these shoes. Tico actually has them in yellow and green. And again, like when I first got into shoes, I didn't really think too much of these, but I don't know what it is. I guess over time, my taste buds just changed for shoes and I just really, really, really like these pairs of shoes. And I don't have any yellow shoes either. So um, these are just really dope. I love the lacing on them as well. The way the cage and the lace go together. I just think it's super, super cool. And I haven't even tried these on yet. So I'm going to try these on right now and tell you how comfortable they are because everyone already says like, I'm looking at the inside of the shoe. It's kind of weird. Like the way it's all like woven together. I'm always used to ultra boost and I'm always used to like vapor max and, and Adidas Yeezy and they're super, super comfortable, but I haven't worn another pair of shoes in a really long time. So I'm going to stick these on and I'm going to let you know how they fit and how they feel. I'm a size 11 by the way. So, um, I just went true to size. They feel initially pretty good. If I could get the shoe in, there we go. Yeah, they feel good. They're comfortable, guys. That's all you need to know. I would hope that they're comfortable for the amount of money that you're paying for them. I would never buy something if it wasn't comfortable and, and like good for you. Like, I, I don't understand how there's like some shoes out there that I see that are like ten thousand dollars because they have like a designer name on them and they're so uncomfortable. Like, I, I just don't understand why people would buy them. But yeah, here's the shoe. Yeah, they're dope, right? 
yeah, they're pretty comfortable. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm pretty happy with my new kicks. I'm just doing a little spin like Nick Marola said. But yeah, here's the kicks, guys. They're super, super dope. Um, if you guys don't know, Goat's actually doing a giveaway with myself right now. If you guys go on my Instagram or my Twitter, I have all the information. There's also a Gleam link. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to this channel. All you have to do is just comment your shoe size down below what shoe you want. And Goat's going to be hooking up one of you guys with your favorite shoe, your dream shoe, and your shoe size. So I think that's really cool because these shoes make me really happy. I'm a really spoiled guy though. I have a bunch of shoes that make me happy. I know a lot of you guys out there probably can't afford some of these really cool shoes or you guys don't have the money to even buy any pair of shoes. So if you guys want your dream pair of shoes, okay, whatever shoe it is in the world, something like this, you know, a dope pair of shoes. If you win it, I know it's going to make you guys happy because I'm spoiled and this is making me happy right now. So um, hopefully you guys can get that same feeling as well. So if you guys are interested in that, all you have to do is click the link in the description below. Again, thank you so much to GOAT. It's just awesome to work with people that you already liked before you even knew them and then to be able to build a relationship with them is really cool. So I'm, I'm super grateful for that. I'm appreciative of it. And I hope you guys enjoy this like kind of like review unboxing video of the Pharrell NMD Human Races in the yellow. Um, it's like one of the original colorways. I thought it was the coolest colorway. And uh, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think of this shoe. Do you guys like the human races? If so, what's your favorite color and why? I'm really curious because I, I really do like my shoes. So uh, I'm really excited about these. I'm going to go wear these on and break them a little bit. But uh, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all have a great day. And for some reason, my camera cut out. But I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensomartin. And I'm out, guys. Peace.